An eight-year-old from Fort Worth remains in the hospital tonight after she was hit by a car in a crosswalk on her way home from school. Tonight, we are learning more about her condition and the community's call to make the streets safer for the elementary school students who walk them each day. Here's Ali Spilliards. Today, that little girl's dad told us that she was still in the ICU here at Cook Children's, where staff has told them it is a miracle that her injuries weren't worse. He says even before this happened, the family had concerns about that intersection. And today, his neighbors told us the same. Just two blocks from an elementary school. It could be kids, it could be moms and dads taking their kids to school. Kirkland residents say drivers rarely abide by the 35 miles per hour speed limit. It's every day, all day long. Today, one of our cameras captured two drivers that appeared to be racing along Park Vista Boulevard through a crosswalk at Glen Canyon Road. It's the same stretch where less than 24 hours before, a doorbell camera recorded a sedan that doesn't appear to slow moments before the sound of impact and honking horns. Around the time police say an eight-year-old girl was hit crossing here after leaving an after-school activity at Park Glen Elementary. I saw the little girl crossing right, when, right before she got to the second lane. She got hit, wasn't a full impact, but it was a Pretty good collision. Phil Rossi says he checked for a pulse while he and several other parents waited for an ambulance to arrive. They'd later learn the girl suffered several small fractures and a severe concussion. It was extremely tragic, but not completely unexpected. In the hours since, Fort Worth Councilman Charlie Lowersdorf says he's requested a traffic study, an expedited solution, like a traffic signal. They look at any incidents in the, in the past, you know, if it's a high incident, actual intersection, or just potentially a high threat intersection. Text.record records show there have been three crashes at this intersection since 2019 and two dozen, including 10 involving speed, along a two mile stretch of Park Vista between Basswood Boulevard and North Tarrant Parkway. No one ever gets in their car and says, I want to hit a child today. No one says that. But if we're not paying attention or if we're speeding, then it's, it's always a possibility. Lowersdorf says he's also pushing for an increased police presence in school zones and a bigger budget to keep crossing guards on hand for after school activities. While they were here today, the victim's family says they'd finish their job just minutes before she was hit. And hopefully in an effort to prevent future tragedies like this one, the city says that neighborhoods can actually file a petition for traffic calming measures like speed bumps or traffic lights to be added to problem streets or intersections. We'll post information for that on our website, NBCDFW.com. And for now, send things back to you.